Next one you talk about. Just because you follow up with someone doesn't mean that you have to air out their personal business. Um, I see like a lot of people, man, they'll fall off with someone. And the mature thing to do about it is just to move on without them. You don't have to let the internet know, I'm not talking to so-and-so because they did this, they did that. That's not the way that you want to go about that. Um, whenever you fall off with someone, you have to come to an understanding that, okay, I'm not moving along with this person anymore. And from this point on, we're not associating. Does the whole world have to know about it? No, they don't. Um, just you and that person have to know. And from there, you just move on. Um, the best revenge is growth. That is literally facts. The best revenge is growth. So if someone did you dirty and you guys fell off, it's not going to the internet and let's have a shame competition and see who can say the worst things about another. That's destructive, not only to that person, but it can also can be to you because you just have to remember any any dirt that you have on someone, they probably have dirt on you too. And it's like, okay, do you really do you guys both really want all of your personal business being aired out? I think not. And um, at least if you leave on terms to where you just don't talk anymore, there's paths for reconciliation. I don't really reconcile with people that uh, betrayed me, but there's always a path for reconciliation if you left on terms to where it's like, okay, we're not we're not cool, but um, yeah, we're not cool, but we're not gonna speak ill about each other on social media or to anyone else in general in real life too. You just keep pushing, man, because when people get on social media, a simple um, relationship that ended can now turn into um, chaotic overload now because now it's a competition and now feelings are getting hurt and now other people are getting brought into it and it becomes a dangerous situation. So what I will say to you guys, if you fall out with people, don't go on the internet and badmouth them. Don't go on the internet and gossip. Take your L and move forward with it. It sucks sometimes because sometimes you fall out with people that you have known for years and years and years, sometimes decades, but you just got to move forward. And now if you had a friend group like you, you, and you and someone else, and now that someone else is no longer part of the friend group, obviously you all three know each other's stuff, so you can talk to each you can talk to each other about it, but you don't air out the business to the public. A lot of y'all y'all be trying to involve the public in the inner circle quarrels, and that is dangerous. Just like I said about relationships, it's not just um monogamous relationship, it's friendships, uh family things, man. Just either diagnose the problem between you two or separate. Simple as that. So with that being said, that's a brief game. Doesn't really need a lot of context. Now I'm going to read the comment section. Tap the follow on the bell button if you haven't already. And if you guys would like me to stay longer for five more minutes, uh, I need to see 500 roses. I'll give you guys 30 seconds to do that. I feel like social media has played a major role with privacy. Most definitely. Privacy doesn't even exist anymore, so to speak. Yeah. It became, it be, it's becomes who can hurt who worse on the cool. That's a fact. Karma is real and it comes in various forms. Think before you do. I tell my kids that daily. That's powerful. If someone trusts you with something and you air it out, then that's goofy and reveals true character facts. The best revenge is growth. And sometimes, even if a relationship doesn't end, if someone comes to you and tells you something, and they tell you not to tell, and then you say you're not going to, and then you end up telling somebody, or you tell the source, you will never be trusted with information again. I don't do gossiping, period. If I'm going to tell you something that I wouldn't feel comfortable telling that person, I'm just not going to say it. But just understand that if someone does do that, and then you air out their information, you'll never be trusted with information again. A lot of y'all be playing telephone. And just understand, as the message goes down the line in telephone, it starts to change a little bit. And you have to understand, even if you're emotionally compelled to whatever they tell you, there's two sides. There's actually three sides to every story. There's their story, there's there's this person's story, that person's story, and then the truth. Gospel is a... Yeah, um, it is something that, you know, they commonly do. You don't really... I don't really, I don't really want to hang around any guys that do gossip. And I just don't see this. I don't see that as... That's not normal. <laughs> That's not normal to me. Any guys gossiping. But with that being said, man, I don't see any more roses. So make sure you tap the follow and the bell button. And I'll possibly be back with another episode right after this one. But if not, I'll see you guys. I hope you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. Appreciate Darius for the follow. Much love.